So guys, it is video day today and I am really excited about this one because I have a new product here and it really is a new product. So this is from a company called Jobby. Now everyone knows Jobby as the vlogging company, the microphone company that do some amazing products. Well today we're looking at a Wavo pod. Now this isn't any just any pod, this is a microphone, a really really good microphone actually. So this is what we're looking at. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. Guys, this is what we are taking a look at. Now, this one I have been very excited about, but this is the Jobby Wavo, and this is the Wavo Pod. So this is the new microphone design that they've uh, went for this time. So I am really excited to look in this. So why don't we just get straight into it? So this is what we get in the box. Like I said, we've already went through the user manual. We get the actual microphone, which we're going to come to in just a second. But we do get two cables. So we have one cable here, which is USB Type-C to USB Type-C, which is quite nice to see. But if you don't have the um, accommodation for that and you can't use dual USB Type-C, it also comes with a USB Type-C and a normal uh, USB there as well. So you can use it. Whether you're just using this on like an old school laptop that doesn't actually have USB Type-C. So it's nice, first of all, that they've actually incorporated two different types of cables there. So it's going to fit everyone's needs. And then we have the microphone itself. Now, I've not seen a microphone design like this, especially when it comes to the filter. This is one thing I have yet to see. So what we're going to do, first of all, is get this off by little uh, twist on the back. So I'm going to untwist this. So the filter itself, it literally does just click in and click out. You've got a mesh filter on the side here. And so obviously with their logo going on, this just fits to the back of the uh, microphone, which is, it is quite nice to see. It's a design I'm yet to see as well. But the microphone itself is very small. So like I said, this is the Wavo pod and we have everything going for it. So on the center here, we do have the uh, mute button, which is just the click button, click in and out which is right there, it's also the volume button as well. So we can just turn that and it stops and starts. So that's another thing to think about. And we also do have two different pattern controls. Now, a lot of people don't understand the pattern controls and how they work without actually going into, you know, like the internet and all that, and trying to figure it out. But the good thing about the, the way they designed this one is there's only two patterns we have here, but if you don't understand how they actually work, if we go into the side of the microphone, it actually tells you what each pattern does. So this pattern here is going to work for just this portion of the microphone. And then if we use the other one, this is going to allow both sides of the microphone to be in use. So it's going to be an overall pattern. So this is going to allow sounds to be heard from all directions. But this one is only going to be allow sounds from, say, uh, forward facing directions. So it is quite nice that they've actually introduced that because a lot of people don't understand how the patterns work. For instance, the Blue Yeti microphone has a huge ton and variety of different patterns, but a lot of people don't understand them, and me being one of them people, probably. So if we look on the bottom here, we do have a few things. So we do have um, we do have a thread here. So this is going to allow us to use it on different tripods, but they also give you the extension sleeve here. So if you want to use it for, um, I believe, uh, for bigger size tripods that do accommodate that, you might already have one that doesn't have a smaller thread size, so we can use it on that as well. You don't have to use it on the stand it comes with. Now, there is a little bit of pure plastic here. There we go. I always find that so satisfying. So on the back here, we do have our uh, main power port, which is a USB Type-C port. And then we also do have a headphone inline. So this is going to allow you to hear yourself while you're speaking to the microphone, even if this is something you like, or if it's just for you getting it set up. This is something to take in consideration. Now, I am going to take this microphone off of here. So this literally just comes off by unscrewing the two side ports. And just like that. And then that just pops right off. Just trying not to lose the rubber washers like I nearly just have. They just pop back in there. And, there we go. and ironically, that is got to be one of the lightest microphones I have ever held. That weighs next to nothing. And it is really, really, build quality wise is really nice, I have to admit. Um, normally the microphones, like the one I'm using at the moment is the HyperX. I kind of changed over because of gaming. Um, it was a little bit more easier to use. 
but we're definitely going to take a look at this one and see what the compromise is because I want to jump straight into an audio test to see roughly what this sounds like. Now we do have the base at the bottom here, so this does unscrew as well. So just like that, that also does unscrew. So if you want to keep uh, the microphone in the mountain case and then put that onto another tripod, like I said, you also have the accommodation for that as well. They really have thought of everything when it comes to this. So what we're going to do is get this all put back in. So guys, it's at that time now. So what we're actually going to do is do an audio test. Now, this audio test isn't a comparison to how good this is compared to the one I'm using at the moment. Microphones have a total different area of of how the microphone is going to benefit you. Like the HyperX benefits me because of the size of the boom arm it came with and just the overall ease of the actual microphone itself. It's just easy for me. But like I said, we're going to be taking a look at the jobby. So at the moment, we're currently running through the HyperX, as you can hear. Sorry for the noise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to OBS Studios and actually swap over microphones and actually start using the Wavo pod. Now, the pattern I've got it set to is overall. I think that's what it's called. So basically, noise is going to come from the entirety of the microphone itself. So I'm going to have it sat here and I'm obviously just going to talk through it. So I'm going to swap over now. So now I'm talking through the Wavo pod, as we can hear. Sorry for the noise. So this is what it sounds like going through the Wavo pod. Now I haven't added I haven't added any filters or anything to this microphone. This is pretty much how it sounds stock on OBS Studio. I haven't added any filters. Nothing's been edited through. So this is pretty much stock what it actually sounds like. So you can let me know in the comment section below of how you feel about it. But I have to admit. It's small form factor, it's basic, and that's what I like about it. It's powered by USB Type-C, which is one of the most common cables and uh, accessory cables there is to this day, because everything is run by USB Type-C. Um, so it is really easy. I've got a cable from here directly goes into my PC, but they do offer you a USB Type-C to a normal USB as well. So don't worry, you're going to have both cables, just in case you don't have the compatibility to the USB Type-C to USB Type-C back over to the HyperX now. So like I said, this microphone really is incredible. It's got all different types of mountain hardware as well. So don't need to just stick it with the stands, but obviously a lot of streamers will do because it's easy to have it in front of you, you know, tilted on an angle. You can just obviously crack on game and it's just sat there. It's quite small as well. So you don't have to worry about it getting your way. And it's just really easy and simple. And I really do enjoy it. If it's too tall, it's got extra screw points so you can lower it down. If you don't want the filter on there, you can remove it. If you want to add it to a boom arm, you can do. It's got two different types of thread sizes, which I really did like, actually. You don't really see that from a lot of microphone companies. And, of course, it's got the mic uh, the headphone port as well, so you can actually listen to see how the quality sounds uh, during your stream, during your podcast, or anything like that. So you can listen to how it sounds as well, which is also a great thing. Uh, a, lot of head a lot of microphones nowadays are actually coming out with that. But I have to admit, it's definitely something I am going to consider using while I'm gaming because the HyperX is a good microphone, but the pain in the arse trying to organize it and sort it out for myself anyways, because I'm always, I try and keep everything organized, but it never works. But there we go. So that was the quality test from the Jobby. So you can let me know down in the comments section below how you felt it is or how you felt it sounded like. Uh, I am really interested in hearing how you guys actually uh, like it and actually like the the major design of it all so like i said if you drop down the comment section below let me know how you feel and as always don't forget to like subscribe and hit notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the further videos and i just generally want to hear what kind of products you guys want me to have a look at so let me know